Hello there, and welcome to my video blog. My name's Mike Frey, and I'm a professional photographer and the joint owner of Tennis Head website and magazine. It's been an incredible few days at the Australian Open here in Melbourne. We've had some amazing light, we've had some amazing matches, we've also had no fans because of the COVID crisis and the COVID lockdown here. So it's just been extraordinary and probably something that will never be seen again. Please enjoy my photos that I've been taking over the last few days and I'll tell you a little bit about how I captured them and also the equipment I've been using. I've been really fortunate and really privileged in the last few days to be able to use some of the new Nikon equipment. I've been trying out the new Z6 II mirrorless camera and it really is a great accompaniment to the D6. In fact, all the videos that we've been making have been shot on the Z6 as well. Along with that, I've also tried probably my new favourite lens, which is the 120-300 f2.8. I'll show you some of the pictures that I've taken with it and I've just been so impressed. I often use the 180mm to 400mm zoom when I'm shooting doubles. It's a great way of capturing either one player or both players in the same frame. This shot is of Jamie Murray hitting an overhead smash, so off the ground against a fantastic background in great light. I use the lens at 400mm, ISO 320, aperture f4 and shutter speed of 3200. This picture is from the final of the men's singles wheelchairs. Gerard had just won and in the moment of jubilation he threw his racket in the air. I was really pleased to capture it and the sheer joy and uh, emotion on his face. I shot this picture at 410mm on the 180-400 to zoom with the 1.4 converter switched on. It was at ISO 1600 as I was shooting in pretty strong light and an aperture of 5.6 and the shutter speed was 3200. It was very bright sunlight on a beautiful afternoon on Rod Laver Arena. I wanted to shoot Daniel Medvedev tight against a black background and avoid all the logos that are doing the back wall of Rod Laver. So I shot this with a 600mm lens with a 2x converter, ISO 640, lens millimetre 1200 and an aperture of f8 with a shutter speed of 3200. I was really pleased with how sharp this was considering it's a 2 times converter on a 600 in very bright sunlight. It was another bright afternoon on Rod Laver Arena and I wanted to take a backlit picture of Carolina and the after, as the afternoon sun was dropping. I took this picture directly against the light and I shot it at uh, 180mm on the 180-400 to 400 zoom, an aperture of f4 and a shutter speed of 4000. I was really pleased with the way that the ball left the fluff in the air around the racket and also how the highlights were picked out in her hair because of the sun from behind. I used my favourite lens for this picture, the 400mm f2.8. Everybody wants to get a picture of a player on the stretch and I'm certainly no exception. I shot this picture of Serena, the second match on of the day, in very harsh light and I wanted to make sure that I didn't get any advertising in the background. Unfortunately, she stretched to the left and the sun was on the right, but I was lucky enough to get enough, feet, enough sun onto her face to make it clear to see who she is and what her emotions were. I shot this picture at 400mm obviously, ISO 400, aperture 2.8 and a shutter speed of 4000. I spotted Raf on one of the outside courts, practicing. He was obviously trying to be quiet and discreet, but I sneaked up and I started taking some pictures. In the end he spotted me and as he was picking the balls up he came walking towards me giving me a bit of a scowl and an unimpressed look. But I carried on shooting. I shot this one on the 180-400. to I used the 1.4 converter so the uh, focal length was 450, the ISO was 800 and the aperture 5.6. It was a really nice clean picture and it was good to see Rafa not putting his uh, corporate smiley face. I hope you've enjoyed this insight into my world, my pictures, and the tennis that I cover. I also hope that you can join me on the 25th of February for an Ask Mike session on the Nikon Australia social media. I look forward to seeing you then.